and you wait on that day and you get disappointed. I keep telling y'all, we're not doing that no more. Mm -mm -mm. We're not doing that no more. Because you will stop your life right now. You will, for instance, plan a trip to Africa or Jamaica or whatever. And then your family needs you. And you're like, oh, well, let me see if I can cancel my plane ticket or change my plans. No, the fuck you're not. My hair is is pushed out. I wish I could whip my hair back and forth. I wish I could whip my hair back and forth on y'all. I wish I could whip my hair back and forth on y'all. But it ain't long enough. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Chemisphere. I don't know if y'all on TikTok or YouTube because I don't know where this video might be. Probably both. But I had a situation. And I want to let y'all know. First of all, I love my family. My family loves me. We don't have issues like that. Me and my family are very, very close. But what I notice is this. And some of y'all might have noticed it. You raise your children, you bend over backwards for them, you sacrifice everything for them. Some of y'all probably raised your grandchildren, or at least you made sure they were okay when they came on the weekends or came for the summer. I did for my grandkids, and my grandma did for me. We couldn't wait to Fridays to go to my grandma's house. And when we got there, all of our cousins met us there from their parents' house. Every summer, we was at my grandma's house for the whole summer. But then you realize that those people that you bent over backwards for, they're not bending over backwards for you. Yeah, they might give you a ride to the doctor or bring you some groceries or, you know, whatever. But they're not spending that quality time with you. Everybody's busy. Your kids are busy. They're working. They got their families. Your grandkids and grew up and they're doing whatever and they'll say things like oh ma i'll be, to be over there to see you friday or i'll be over there to see you next weekend and they, they don't show up or your grandkids might say oh grandma i'm gonna come see you when i get a chance i'm gonna come see you when i have time because i'm going to school now i'm working now whatever and you wait on that day and you get disappointed i keep telling y'all we're not doing that no more Mm -mm -mm. we're not doing that no but because you will stop your life right now you will for instance plan a trip to africa or jamaica or whatever and then your family needs you and you're like oh well, let me see if i can cancel my plane ticket or change my plans no the fuck you're not worry about yourself take care of yourself we 50 60 70 80 years old how much more of our time are we going to give to people that will not make time for us. People that unconsciously is taking your dignity from you in different ways. That that's another another story that don't really have nothing to do with this. It's a whole different subject and a whole different deal. But like I said, please, please, please get up and live for yourself. Stop letting your grandkids be the reason. Stop letting your children be the reason. Just don't do it. Because you're going to end up heartbroken, sad, miserable, depressed. Because you're giving time and energy to people that honestly don't give a fuck. And not intentionally. They just have grown up and they have their own lives now. We're not their priority like we were their priorities. We are not their priorities like they were our priorities. We naturally sacrificed and gave up for them because they were our children and grandchildren. Well, when it's opposite, it's not necessarily the same. Um, and again, uh, please get on here and make some videos. Tell your stories. I keep repeating myself. No, YouTube's not going to make you rich and you might take a while before you even start making some money because first you have to be monetized you have to get the four thousand watch hours and i think it's now 500 subscribers at the time i did it, it was a thousand subscribers but you have to start somewhere 
get that passive income. Once you get on YouTube, you go to sleep and you wake up and you check your money and it's growing every day. You go to sleep and wake up. It's just passive income. But being a content creator is hard. It is not easy with the editing and posting. Uh, it, 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 it does become a full-time job. It really, really does become a full-time job. But anyway, my point is live your life. This is, um, today is, this is Wednesday night, the 30th of October. Um, so y'all won't get confused because I keep posting in this. But this is like a long, it's like a blanket that you put on like a hoodie. And it goes to this law, it's a full length. And so I keep, this winter time here, not like it's cold. Uh, it's probably hot, like just a couple hours in the day. But yeah, I love y'all and I'll see you soon.